Okay, we're going to talk about the lower control arm for the 120 series Toyota FJ Cruiser 4Runner Prado and GX470. This is off a 2008 GX470. This is the stock lower control arm right here for the driver's side, left side. This is the 1A Auto arm, which I got for about $150 a piece with a sealed lower ball joint. These have moogs on it. The moogs I bought were actually too long. And that's why I'm replacing the control arm because I didn't want to deal with pressing out a ball joint again. What are the differences between stock and the 1A Auto? We'll go away then. The welds are actually really good. Same machining pattern. You can see, you can't really see in the rust, but in this groove right here, the machinist ground out, ground it smooth on the stock ones. Same with the 1A Auto. These holes that are machined here, You have the same kind of um, deburring and finish work on the inside of the holes. So the finish work here is nice, which is what you wouldn't expect out of a um, $150 unit. This painting, I don't know the quality of the coat. We'll have to do a follow-up video on how that works. The welds here, it's tough to tell with all the dirt and grime on this one. I'm not going to spend the time to clean it up. But the weld quality, the weld bead on this one, at least under the paint, looks better than this one on the stock side. Now what I did notice on 1A Auto when I did the passenger side, we'll see if we can show it on the driver's end. On the stock Toyota, it's a seamless bead. There's a seamless bead here, and a seamless bead across this side. On the 1A Auto, they went to a bead and stopped here See the, where the two beads joined, and they did that there. They did the same thing on the passenger side, and the same thing here. I honestly don't think how it will make a difference. The boot on the 1A Auto is... The boot's probably where your quality is going to lack, and that boot will probably fail. But my guess is when that happens, I'll give Kurt at Cruiser Outfitters a call and um, we'll get the triple five bushings and just press these out, put these back in. And then what I'll, well actually what I'll honestly do is I'll buy another set of 1A Auto if the arms are holding up. I'll swap those out and then I'll take the other set as a hot spare and press them out and um, put triple fives in ready for the next time the boots fail. Because this job when you replace the lower A arm as a unit is really, really easy. The only problem is having to do an alignment after. If you pull the whole arm and do it on a bench, it's actually a really easy job. But if they cheapened on the thickness of the steel, we should be able to tell from the weight. Now the stock A-arm with Moog ball joint and 10 years of dust comes in at 16.4 pounds. And the new 1A Auto should be lighter if they cheapened on the thickness of the skip, the steel and the coating and it checks in at 17.4. So even with dust, grime and another ball joint, the stock $700 control arm is one pound lighter than the 1A. And this would make sense with all the reports of everyone saying, this thing feels better than stock. And it really does. So, let's do that again. Here's the factory one. 16.4. And there you have it. The old low quality footage you just saw was taken in December of 2019 when I did the lower control arm swap out. Here is footage from August of 2022 as I was replacing the CV shaft. Here is the same lower control arm three years later after some mild off-roading, Utah winters with salt on the roads, and three years of daily driving. You can see that under the West Desert dust, the black finish is still good. I assure you there is no surface rust. The finish has held up way better than I expected. And here you can see that the boot on the lower control arm is held up quite well. I was surprised. 
At the time of this video, 1A Auto has these control arms listed for sale for $125, and their regular pricing is still $150, which hasn't changed yet over three years, which is crazy for this high quality, heavy duty, lower control arm with a sealed ball joint. Now if the lower ball joint starts to get loose or the boot tears, it might just be worth it to me to replace these control arms again rather than go through the work and effort to press in triple five ball joints. I am very impressed and pleased with these aftermarket lower control arms and I would not hesitate to consider them for your UZJ120 platform vehicle.